Market to Market is everywhere you are. Subscribe to Market to Market on YouTube, find us on the PBS video app to stream on demand, and add our three podcasts on your favorite podcasting app. Monday, President Biden held his first face-to-face -face meeting with President Xi Jinping of China. The three-hour meeting included discussions on human rights, Taiwan, and pollution. Even though both sides clashed over the sovereignty of Taiwan and the rights of minorities in China, both sides agreed they would work to manage their differences in the competition for global influence. The world expects, I believe, China and the United States to play key roles in addressing global challenges from climate uh, changes to food insecurity and to, for us to be able to work together the United States stands ready to do just that, work with you if that's what you desire. Biden has acknowledged Xi's one China policy, while at the same time committing to the protection of Taipei. As leaders of the two major countries, we need to chart the right course for the China-U.S. relationship. We need to find the right direction for the bilateral relationship going forward and elevate the relationship. However, relations between the two powers have grown more strained under successive American administrations over economic trade, human rights, and global security. Near the end of the week, former ambassador to China Terry Branstad, who established a close personal relationship with Xi while governor of Iowa, held a symposium on China. Just as we don't want to lose the Chinese market for corn, soybeans, pork, beef, you know, things like that. Branstad believes the $600 billion in trade with the U.S., which includes the bulk of soybeans exported from rural America, is still important. Well, first of all, I think the tariffs got their attention and led to the phase one trade agreement. So I don't know without the tariffs if we would have gotten it because administration after administration had tried to get these things done and not gotten them done. Now, hopefully, over time, we can see these tariffs lifted. Speakers at the symposium made reference to Xi's statement about his ideology of capitalism's demise and the ultimate victory of socialism. John Pomfret, an expert on U.S.-China relations, believes business was the backbone of this country's relationship with China, but he says all of that is gone. His perspective is that the future of the relationship, the continued relationship between China and the capitalist world, which is the United States, is cooperation and struggle. And it's struggle for the inevitable victory of socialism over capitalism. And, it's, and it's, people say, well, he doesn't mean that. But this is a speech to party faithful that was kept secret for five, six years that he made soon after. He, he's, and he doesn't waste his time. And I think it's a clear elucidation of his, of his views on, on, on the relationship. So I think he's in a Cold War with the United States. And the issue is whether we're going to be in one with him. And I think increasingly we are. For Market to Market, I'm David Miller.